We're here at the trailhead of the Little Missouri and Athens uh, trailhead. Uh, we're going to make our decision as soon as we cross over the Little Missouri River whether to go over the mountains or down the river. But one of the things that excites me about this trail is it is very wet. So we have lots of water and we're not going to run out. Even the mountain parts, there's, trip, there's streams in between. I have my pack here, weighed in at 29 pounds. Uh, the trail is about, the loop is about 26.5 miles, uh, roughly eight or nine miles uh, per section, hopefully per day. So we'll see how it goes and we'll unload my pack. And we're at our first uh, day of camping on the creek here. Uh, we've come about four, five and a quarter miles on the Athens Big Fork Trail. Um, this is my pack. It is an Osprey. Uh, had it for about a hundred bucks at uh, Backwoods in Norman. Uh, has a camel back here. Has a the tent goes up here. Tent's about three pounds, and you can get them five, seven pounds, but you want to go about three pounds. That'll that's going to be your most weight right there. This is the sleeping roll. Lightweight goes on the outside though. The first aid kit inside here, towel to dry off with, a rain slicker, and various essential first aid instruments in here, and here, uh, uh, trail food, trail mix, bars, also your spade and toilet well, tissue for bathroom purposes. Starbucks instant coffee and sweetener and sardines. A toothbrush and toothpaste here. Alright. Got more water in here in the main body. Got an extra shirt. Sleeping bag. Reading material. Street dry food. Extra shirt. A uh, liner for the sleeping bag in case it gets kind of cold, cold at night. That's the cooking set. Uh, extra changes of uh, the basics, socks and underwear. And a cook stove with extra kerosene. So that came to about 29 pounds. All right, we're on day two. The detritus of our camp is broken now. And today we're going to finish up the Athens Long Fork Trail. The last 3.5 miles or so and meet up with the Vines Creek Trail. Is that correct? Yes. All right. That way. My associate, Chris Hall. So how are you feeling about now? Tired. Stay wet. Don't get wetter. What stream is that? Huh? What stream is that? Blaylock Creek. Blaylock Creek. Not even the river. All right, All right Chris. We're at the top of the last ridge. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? Ready to go home. Uh, we got 20 more miles. There's Chris's pack. And there's the ridge. Almost to the end of the Athens Big Fork Trail.
This is where we just made our water crossing from the Vines Branch uh, Vines Branch Trail to join the Little Missouri River Trail. There's Little Missouri. It is, as you can see, a river. I don't really have any way of comparing this. This has been a pretty wet season. Um, so it may be up a little bit over what it normally is. But if you're six foot tall, it's a knee high crossing. And it's deepest there. And you gotta make sure you stay upright against the current. And this is Albert Pike Campground. You notice uh, nice pads for the tents, 10 bucks a night. And even bathrooms and a lukewarm shower. Interesting. And down there, there's a store. So, 10 more miles on the Little Missouri Trail. And we'll be back to the car. All right, this is the Little Missouri Falls. Four point, about five miles to the car at Upper Missouri Falls. And as you can see, it is a falls and somehow we're gonna to have to get across that. So, hopefully it'll work out. This is probably our next to last crossing of the Little Missouri River. It's really a creek up in this area. Chris is trying to find a good crossing point. He doesn't want to get his shoes wet. doesn't. I, on the other hand, I'm definitely going to get my feet wet. Mike on the concluding ford, the upper Little Missouri River.